Joining me on the phone now is WWE Hall of Famer and wrestling legend Coco Beware. My first memories of you come uh, when you were wrestling as part of the uh, PYT Express, the Pretty Young Things with Norvell Austin. Tell me a little bit about um, what got you motivated, what got you into the, the wrestling game? Well, just some, some friends. I mean, it really started out, number one, so you have to be a big wrestling fan. You have to love this. You, you know, you get dedicated wrestling fans like the fans at the corners that love to come out, been watching the Birdman uh, forever, you know, and stuff like that. So it's got to be, it's got to get in your blood. And I tell you, and I finally got, I ran across some guys that was wrestling and some friends of mine, and, and they, they, they got with me and trained me. And I uh, got my start, I got my start there, and then I ran across a fellow named Big Plyboy Frazier. You remember him, Uncle, Uncle Elmer? Uncle Elmer, of course, yes I do. Uncle Elmer, Uncle Elmer, Elmer gave me, he gave me the key to the wrestling world, and that was Jerry the King Lawler. And then, and once, once Lawler took a look, uh, liking liking it to me, took a look at me in the wrestling and stuff like that. Man, Jerry Lawler said, hey, you have got talent. Come on, I, I can help you, kid. I can help you. And ever since then, man, that right in Memphis, Tennessee, my first debut on TV, I went against a big old guy called Joe LaDuc. And after that match, man, I, I think I woke up the next week on the couch. <laughs> And uh, from um, Joe took it, you know, and he, he gave me the beat of, of my life, and, but I never forgot it. And I, I just want to thank Jerry the King Lawler for for really helping me got got started. In fact, he helped me get all the way up to New York City in the WWE Hall of Fame. And talk a little Coming bit of, from a little town of Union City, Tennessee. Tell me about that, Coco Beware, if you don't mind. Uh, I remember very st- very distinctly uh, your debut in the WWF back uh, in 1986. And where did the Birdman come from? Where did where did you uh, get Frankie and, and go with that gimmick? And it, it was really popular with the fans. Well, the, well, the Bird came in at uh, well, I started out in Louisiana, and, and just the Birdman name just had the birds on my tights, and. Man, at the time I was, my wife, man, she she was a cheerleading coach and stuff like that. And she the one came uh, came up with a great idea. And said, hey, she in fact she was in a pet store, and she saw this big old blue and gold call bird and said, golly, man, this is what my husband really needs here. And my wife, man, just she she took a picture of it and brought it home and showed it to us. And, Honey, if you had this here, you know, to carry this bird out with you and stuff like that, since you're the bird man, he said, this, this, this here would be awesome. I said, man, I took a, I said, I don't want to carry no bird around. And she said, no, you need to just try it. You know, we'll put the music to, music uh, together and all that stuff, and we just, you just need to try it. And so I, I tried it and stuff like that, and it worked out great. And then when I had a... In 1986, when I got a, received a call from the WWF back then, was WWE, we got to put that WWE in there. Forget about the F. <laughs> I got a call from them, and, and man, I was, and uh, in fact, I had an interview with with the highest man in professional wrestling, promoter, the best promoter in the world, and uh, besides Bert Prentice, now he's been great. Uh, that was uh, back then, and he, the last question, like, I don't know how he came up with it, when I, uh, our last conversation, I was beginning to walk out of his office. He said, Coco, is there anything? I don't know how he, could, he came up with that. I said, is there anything that you'd like to add to your your gimmick? And I said, you know what? I have got one more thing I'd love to add. So I reached in my shirt pocket and I flipped this picture out. And I showed him. So I'd love to have this bird to take around with me. That way I can relate to the kids and I could be in, I could be on the same level with Hulk Hogan, Andre the Giant, and stuff like that. And he said, You really want to carry this bird around everywhere? I said, If you if you can supply it for me, I will take it everywhere. 
And he said, that's no problem. He said, oh my God, now we got a dog, Matilda, we got Jake the snake with a snake. Now we have a bird man with a bird. <laughs> and this, this, this how this, this started. God bless her heart. She's gone on with the, the glory. Now with breast cancer at the age of 46. And, uh, but, you know, that was, but that was, that was her deal. I mean, she helped, uh, she helped me out on, 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 helped us out on that, and uh, that's where I really became the true bird man. Without you know, I was already the bird man, but uh, that bird really, really uh, brought it on out even more. And all the colorful tights, and the blonde hair, and different color hair styles and stuff that, that I was going through, and all that stuff. And I know that music was a big part of, of your time in WWE as well, singing the title cut to Pile Driver, uh, the second wrestling album. Uh, how important was that to you? How special was that to you to be able to uh, add that to your uh, mini credits? Well, you know what? I, I was a gospel singer, singer in church. I, in fact, I'm still playing lead guitar in church right now. And, uh, and man... I was just so tickled pink that I couldn't believe that I, how they wanted me to sing the lead song of their wrestling album, Pal Driver. And we did the video and all that out in California. And man, you know, I was just so excited because I, I used to watch the videos all the time, you know, MTV videos and all that stuff. I got a chance to, to be in one of the videos, and, but it takes a long time to shoot those things. I mean, we was we were there at seven o'clock that morning, morning, and then we did. I think we was all over it like three o'clock that afternoon. Wow! I mean, we just shoot different. Little, I mean, only two minutes. Two, yeah, two minutes or something that it lasted, but it took all day to shoot those two minutes. And I can you imagine doing a movie and stuff like that, you know, it just takes a long time. And I was just so, so, oh uh, man, just so happy, just rejoicing, man, that I got an opportunity here as a country boy coming from a little small town. He doesn't look like he's on MTV, man. He's just, he's doing his videos out now. He's just, you know, just talking to the world. And I just thank God that I got a, I got a golden opportunity to be with the greatest company in the world. And, and being, being with the greatest people that helped Coco Beware, and, it was, and that's all my wrestling fans and all over the world, and, and you know, and I'm, I'm still humble, you know, I, I still believe, I, I still go home to my, my little small town, and, and, and I still talk to my friends, and still got family members there, my, of course my mother and father deceased now, and I have a sister and nieces and nephews nephews and stuff, cousins, and I have a lot of great friends up there, you know, I still love Union City, Tennessee. A great honor, I would imagine, for you to to have been inducted into the Hall of Fame and, and to join the likes, as you mentioned, of Hulk Hogan and Andre the Giant and, uh, you know, Stone Cold Steve Austin from this modern day era, and, and of course, your good friend, uh, Jerry the King Lawler. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's... They're just, they're part of it, man. They always, like I said, they'll never be forgotten. And, and uh, golly, they always have a place in my heart as long as I live. And, and along with my wrestling fans, along with you, your support, Kevin, and stuff like that. I mean, you know, without you guys, we can't, we wouldn't be able to do anything. And y'all, you're, you're a big help. You are, you may not know it, but you are a big help. You are somebody. Well, thank you for that, and I hope to see you Wednesday night in person and shake your hand. I appreciate your time today. All right, and God bless you. Thank you all. God bless you and your family, and God just stay safe. Keep to stay saved and stay saved and, and, make, and uh, keep God in your life because without Him, we can't do nothing. God bless you too. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it.